All right, so I'm going to do some collision fixes. <clears throat> um, one of the things that goes on is that uh, right now um, the ball kind of gets stuck in the paddle sometimes. So we're going to fix that and we're going to make the collisions happen off the sides of the bricks, not just the tops of the bricks, so tops and bottoms. So um, this is in game panel class. Uh, in the collision checker method that checks for ball and uh, paddle collisions, if ball wrecked dot intersects paddle wrecked. If that's the case, in addition to flipping the value of dy, the direction on the y-axis, we want to also uh, set the position of what the ball's y position so that it's not um, so that it's not stuck inside the paddle, so that it doesn't keep colliding. So we're going to just say the ball dot set y and what do we want to set it to? We want to set it to just above the paddle's top y position so this was a static variable the paddle dot y position minus the size of the ball so the top of the paddle minus the size of the ball the ball dot get size and then we'll just say minus one to make sure it's not exactly uh, there so that's one of the checks that'll prevent the ball from getting stuck on the paddle and then we want to add a couple of different things to the way the ball intersects with the rectangle. So this will be a little bit more complicated. We're going to do from the left side, from the right side, and then uh, just a general check. So we're going to say, and these rectangle objects, I wanted to tell you, have different methods. So these are rectangle objects. Oh no, not there. Brick rect is and ball rect is. And in the rectangle class, you can go and check. Uh, let's just do that quick. So, rectangle Java doc. Rectangles are not just dumb objects, dumb bricks. They have a bunch of methods. So, they can tell you things about themselves. Uh, so, one of the things that you can check if it contains a certain point. Um, if it uh, contains a certain rectangle, if it intersects with a 2D, right, all these different things, get bounds, get 2D bounds, get size, get width. It also has a bunch of different get uh, X and Y things. It can get max X and Y. Oh, that must be from some other, um, oh, from a rectangular shape. So in the, because the rectangle object inherits from the rectangular shape object, you can get the maximum value of x, the max value of y, and the mins too. So we're going to use those things right now to check for various intersections. So um, this is again in game panel where you are checking for if ball rect dot intersects brick rect. Um, right underneath here, we're going to set some things. So we want to say if the ball rectangle, if ball rect dot get max x. So we're going to check for um, collisions on one side. Uh, if that is less than the brick x, so we're going to check on the right side first. If that is less than, and this is going to be uh, pretty good, brick x, we're just going to give it a padding of 5 because, you know, dx is sometimes greater than 1, so every time through the loop it's not just incrementing by 1. So you could actually do more than this, but we'll just give it a padding of 5, and this works for most situations in my game anyway. Um, then we want to do something, so if it hits on the right, uh, left-hand side, the ball uh, dot set dx, the ball ups negative, the ball dot get dx, And then we're just going to move it off to the side a little bit. The ball dot set x, and we want to set it to the brick x, which is the left hand side of the brick, minus one, just so it's outside the bounds. Then we're going to say else if it hits the left, the right hand side, if ball rect dot get max or get min, excuse me, because we want the left-hand side of the ball rectangle and the right-hand side of the brick rectangle if ball rec dot get min x is greater than brick rec dot get max x. So if it's on the right-hand side, then again, we want to 
do these things, but in a little bit different way. So that we still want to flip the value of dx, so it goes in the opposite direction on the x-axis. Uh, but this time we want to say brick x plus the width of a brick. So instead of minus one, we'll just say plus the map dot get brick width and plus one, so we'll give it a little bit of padding. And then if it doesn't hit on the side else, we want to just flip the y. The ball dot set dy, the ball dot get dy, and we'll set it to negative the ball dot get dy. And so that should produce collisions which are a little bit better uh, than they were previously in your game. All right, that's it for this tutorial.